In our video, we will be discussing and exploring the topic of graffiti and its positive and negative impacts it might have on the communities it is in. We will be looking into the differences between graffiti and street art. We will be discussing with different people about their thoughts on graffiti, and we will also be exploring the different cultural impacts graffiti has. Many people have different takes on what graffiti is and if it is good or bad or harmful or positive to the community, and if it is, should be considered a crime or a form of art and expression. Who are you and what do you do? My name is Ryan and my brothers and I, we own a banquet facility in downtown Pontiac. All right. Um, what do you think about graffiti being around your work environment? Uh, well, to me, graffiti is either art or it's gang symbols, right? Mm -hmm. And so it's hard to, it's, it's very, it's easy to see the two of them. Obviously, if you see a nice something spray painted, it's art. But if you have a very clear gang symbol, that's not good. That's not art. And so what basically happens is when you have customers come into your workplace, vendors and stuff like that, no one wants to see that stuff. They feel intimidated. They feel, you know, it just doesn't feel right. But if there's clear art, then I think that's acceptable. All right. So what do you think about it in, in general, just in the more public areas? Not necessarily right uh, there, I personally don't like it. I really like nature. And so when I see, you know, natural things in nature, you don't think of spray painting on it. Um, like, for instance, you know, I grew up by a bridge and you either had to go over the bridge or under the bridge. And when everyone under the bridge, you saw graffiti. However, I always remember being younger. It was always painted over shortly after. So... Mm. You see the graffiti, someone paints over it. They're kind of sick of it. They want it to blend in. All right. Well, thanks for uh, letting me take your time and interview you. Yeah, you're very welcome. People for graffiti say that it's okay if it's done in a way that is not considered vandalism or destruction of property. They also said it's a great way to express creativity. People against graffiti said that they think it is cool but wouldn't want it on their own buildings. They also said that it makes certain areas look more run down than others. These are all examples of graffiti that I found on Belle Isle these past couple days that I went to Detroit to look for some graffiti. Where I'm from, there's no, not that much graffiti. There's a couple here and there, but it's not, ex not as extensive as Detroit, Michigan. Um, but while I was there, I went to Belle Isle, like I previously said, and I saw all these cool pieces that people have done and came to this one spot on Belle Isle and did. Um, these are just a couple clips that I gathered, but there is so much more. In an interview that I did with a local artist, I asked him, do you think that if there's graffiti in an area that it represents a bad community? And he said, yes, since it would be vandalizing local businesses. Now, this is a piece of one of his, and I asked him, when you did your graffiti, how did it feel? And he said that it just felt that he could do anything in that moment. There is a difference between vandalism and street art. Vandalism is when an individual uh, defaces a property owner's property without their consent, and that is considered illegal. While street art is when a property owner pays an individual to either paint or do something else, and that can be considered street art because there's a source of payment and that's not illegal. If you get caught performing graffiti, um, which again is if you're doing it against the owner's um, approval, uh, you could be fined or put into your county jail. You could also be responsible for restitution, which is when you have to pay for any damages that you caused or um, you could be in charge of cleaning up that area. And that is not that fun. While, while you're doing restitution, you also have to pay your fine. 
so in the end it's not really that um fun to do um yes in the moment it does seem like a lot of fun and adrenaline pumping and stuff but in the end it sometimes will not work in your favor if you do get caught graffiti can be many things it can be an art form and it can be a way to show heritage and culture in san diego there's a historic national landmark located underneath the Coronado bridge called chicano park this place has many paintings and art on the walls that tells a story between the american and mexican communities this is just one way that graffiti and street artists can come together to create different pieces to represent their cultures Another area where we can see culture show up in graffiti and street art is in memorials. Memorials are used to help showcase people and events. In San Diego, there is a street art memorial of Prince for when he died. And in Los Angeles, there are many more memorials made for Kobe Bryant for when he was tragically passed away. Memorials like these help the community remember who these people were and what they did for them. And they can show just how big of an impact these people had on their, on their communities. In general, people say some positive things about graffiti is how it adds character to places that are often overlooked. It can also attract tourists or potential customers. It's a good way to show diversity and it was a way to publicize art. People also say that it's ugly and could spread violence if interpreted the wrong way. It also disrupts the environment and could even be considered destruction of property. What I can take away from this project is knowing that Graffiti is bad, but sometimes it can be good. Now, when I say it could be good, I mean sometimes it can express people's opinions and voices that they're too scared to do on their own, that they hide behind their artistic ability.